Hey guys, welcome back. So I have had a request from a viewer to do a puffy heart marshmallow um, design thing. So we're going to give it a shot. I uh, have never done marshmallow before, but um, I've seen people do it on other YouTube videos, and we're going to give it a shot. So, I have one ounce of my Fooey Tim one to one here um, that I have already mixed up, and my Puppy Heart Mold. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour about um, a little more than half in there. And I'm going to save the rest of this uh, for the next step in our routine. Now, I want to let this sit and thicken up. Uh, so I'm going to let it sit for probably about 45 minutes or an hour. And um, let it thicken up and get a little denser so I can do the next step, which is installing the marshmallows, <laughs> for lack of a better term. So I will see you guys for that. I am actually going to give it a little bit of a spritz to get rid of bubbles. I know I don't need to do that because I'm going to be letting it sit for so long, but still, force of habit, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the outside of my mold cleaned up. And I will see you guys in about an hour for next steps. Well, it's going to be a blink of an eye for you, but anyway, see you soon. All right. It's been about 45 minutes or so. So off camera, I mixed up, I split up the remainder of the uh, resin, and I put four drops of red pigment in there and in this one I put in three drops of white pigment. Uh, these are slightly more opaque than my regular uh, doodle bugs, thingy jiggers, alcohol ink. That's the word I'm looking for, alcohol ink. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to go in with the red Give that a little bit of a stir, and then put drops I'm going to go in with the white and go over the red. Now, go back in with red. Okay, so there's that. So I'm going to let that do its thing. I have a bunch of extra resin though, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some cabochons. 
All right, I think that's just about as much damage as I can do on those. All right, so we're going to let everything do its thing and cure up, and I will see you for next steps. See you soon. Right. So you guys know that I can't really leave things alone. Um, I gotta mess with stuff. <laughs> it's part of my... It, it, it's just part of my makeup, you know? So I added a, a smaller layer of clear on top of this. And I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna add some drops of Snow Queen blue UV resin. Uh, this could be a terrible mistake. This could be an epic failure, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> okay. So I will just put those under the microwave for about a minute or so. So they're set. So now all we have to do is just wait for the rest of the resin to cure. And then we can move on with our back layer. See you soon. Okay. Last step before debold. So I have uh, a little bit. I don't know. So uh, enough to cover the back. Uh, of my resin with some of my Let's Resin Black Mica Powder in it, which is a, kind of a pearly black, which I'm fine with. Um, I think it'll add something to it. Now, this is not cured. This, the heart, is not cured, but it's cured enough that I can go ahead and put the back layer on. So, that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to pour that on. And it's not going to fill the heart all the way to the top, but that's okay. It's pretty darn close. I'm just going to head Scrape off my stick. Get that in there. And then we are going to just let this cure all the way. And I will most likely see you guys in the morning when it's all done. So, <laughs> see you then. All right time to finally get this little dip guy out. So let's see how my first attempt at something marshmallowy has gone. It's just a little tiny bit of cleanup on the back. Nothing big. Nothing major. Alright, you ready? One, two, three. Oh. Interesting. I wouldn't necessarily say marshmallows. Maybe I let it get a little too thick. But cool, nonetheless. Kind of interesting. Huh. Neat. I like the way the black background turned out. So. For a first experiment, I think it turned out kind of nifty. So we'll definitely be trying this again. So yay! Let me know what you think down in the comments. And that looks kind of neat. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you again for my next experiment. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'll see you soon. Take care. Cheers.